Well, this time of year, schedules are hectic. You got the parties, you got all the school programs, you got to buy gifts, you got to make treats. I mean, do you have any time scheduled just for you? It doesn't look like it. Why not step away from that computer, put down the phone, and go for a float? They're waiting <laughs> to put some aloha in your life at Blue Ocean's Float. They sure are. And Kayla Thomas is live to show us exactly what to expect. <laughs> Kayla, are you feeling a little relaxed yet? I should, I should keep it down a little bit. Shh. I am not feeling relaxed yet because I am like so excited to get through this interview so that I can try out one of these float pods for myself because we've heard about floating for the last couple of months, but seeing what it's like here at Blue Oceans Float, it's a whole different experience. Brooke Schrock is with me today. I'm not sure I've ever interviewed anyone before in a robe, <laughs> so thank you very much for getting all dressed up for us today. Of course, you're welcome. <laughs> um, we're in one of the five rooms that you have here. These are one of the float rooms. Take us on a tour quick of what exactly people will find when they come into a float room. Sure, absolutely. So we have fl uh, five float rooms here at Blue Oceans Float, and every float room is equipped with um, a shower. You have your own personal shower. So when you come in for your float, you're going to um, shower off and you want to wash all the oils off of your skin so that uh, your body can absorb the magnesium sulfate in the tank. So we have our soap, shampoo, and conditioner. We provide all of that for you as well as towels. And uh, once you get showered off, then you can enjoy your float. And I love this too. I got to point this out. We got a pre-float and a post-float checklist right over here on the wall. Um, and I love this kind of reminders to people before they get in about what they need to do. Absolutely. Yeah, there's certain things that you're going to want to make sure that you want to do. Obviously, use the restroom. Turn your phone off. You definitely don't want to be interrupted during your float. You want to just be able to kind of escape the outside world. And then, of course, we have earplugs. If you don't like the water in your ear, you can put those in and just kind of have all of your uh, toiletry items, uh, you know, kind of set out afterwards. So when you get out of your float, you're going to shower off as well. Okay. I know you guys are dying to see what it looks like inside of here. Some people might think about being claustrophobic or floating in a bathtub. Guys, you got to take a look at this. So you just pop it open right like this and take a look at what's inside. It's really spacious. Explain a little bit about the, t uh, the float pod itself. Sure, absolutely. So um, the float pod itself has 10 inches of water, and the water is lukewarm. It's about um, it's skin temperature, so it's about 97, 98 degrees. And it's dense with about 800 pounds of magnesium sulfate. So that's the cool part about it is when you get in, you are literally going to float. So you also have, the, um, you have these two buttons down here, and that's going to give you your lights and music. So you do have the option if you want to have lights and music in the tank. Um, otherwise, if you just want it to be completely dark, you just crawl in this tank. You're going to put the lid down, and then, of course, you're just going to float. We've got the lights dimmed a little bit so you can kind of see what the experience is like. First-time floaters, it's a little disorienting. Can you explain just some tips for the first timers and what, what to basically expect from this experience? Because this is not taking a bath. Absolutely, yeah, no, it's totally not. Well, my advice to first time floaters is just to remember that this, this experience is very unique to yourself. So, you know, again, with having the lights and, and music as an option, um, you can leave the lid open if you get claustrophobic or you can close it shut. Uh, the first time I floated, I took a towel and I propped it in between here and the lid. That way I still had a little bit of space. Um, but still was able to experience the, the full um, float. So you just really tailor it to yourself, whatever makes you feel comfortable. The magnesium sulfate is key. You mentioned that. What are the benefits of that? Obviously, it makes you float, so it gives you that buoyant experience, but it can also help maybe help you feel a little bit detoxified, or, or what else can it do? Yeah, absolutely. So if you've ever taken an Epsom salt bath, I imagine oh, yeah. you're going you're gonna <laughs> to pop like a couple cups or even, a, even maybe a bag, a small bag, of Epsom salt in your tub. Well, this is 800 pounds of magnesium sulfate. So your body is going to completely detox and you're gonna experience so many great rejuvenating benefits of the magnesium sulfate. What are some of the benefits? I was talking to Jordan, who we've met on the show before, about like pregnant women. Who else can benefit from this? Because it really takes that stress off your body. Sure. I mean, really anybody. Obviously, everybody's under some sort of either physical or um, uh, mental stress. So anybody who has stress in their life, anybody who wants to detox or um, just kind of simply have that me time. But anybody who has like anxiety, depression, uh, PTSD, any type of uh, chronic pain illnesses, anything like that, um, floating will definitely help. What do you hear from people that do this for the first time? Because it is kind of a, an interesting concept until you do it. Right. You totally have to try it in order to experience it. It's one thing just to see it um, on a piece of paper or read about it. But the experience itself is amazing. We see people's faces when they come out of the tank, and they're just stress-free. You know, they come in here, and they're very wound up and um, stressed out and busy. And then when they come out of the tank, they're just calm and relaxed. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let you slip your robe off. She is wearing a bathing suit, ladies and gentlemen. Do not worry. Um, she's gonna crawl into the, uh, into the pod so we can actually kind of see what the experience is like. And look at this too. This is called a halo, so you can actually put it behind your head while you're floating if you wanna put your head up. So I have the microphone here. I'm gonna carefully not drop it into the pool while we have got Brooke in here. And you can see, it is so cool. She's not touching the bottom at all. She is just floating in there. And you can also see just how spacious it is. So what exactly are you feeling right now? So it's very warm, um, not hot, but it's very warm. And uh, the fact that I'm floating is very relaxing on my body. I've had some uh, stiffness in my neck. So um, since gravity's not into play, it's just, it's just relaxing. Uh, you're in your bathing suit now, but you recommend that people do this naked. Why is that? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I mean, the whole idea of the sensory deprivation is to remove all external stimuli, so you don't really want to have your swimsuit on. <laughs> People might be concerned about privacy. They'll be like, oh, I'm in here, I'm alone. That's something that's really important to you guys. Nobody has to worry about anything like that. When you're in here, it is you time. Absolutely. Yep. It's all about you, and you just kind of close the lid and just, just uh, turn it work. Okay, if you're intrigued by what we've been talking about today, there are two things that I want to tell you about. The first one is the Tide Pool Package. So if you want to do this, um, it's a great opportunity to come in and float three times. There's special pricing on that. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, Brooke. So the Tide Float Special, you can get three 60-minute um, floats for $112, or you can get three 90-minute floats for $132. And they are shareable, so I highly recommend um, getting those, you can share it and gift it to somebody now that it's the holiday season, or you can use all those three floats for yourself. It is blowing my mind how big it is in there, because I was kind of claustrophobic, so that kind of uh, scared me a little bit, but now that I see it, um, the other thing we do want to mention is Floating in Wine, which is coming up on December 30th. Still some time to get in touch with them. Um, we're almost out of time, but a couple quick words on that for us. Yeah, so I wish I could go have a glass of wine right now, but <laughs> um, yeah, so floating in wine, um, basically you can float for a discount, and then if you go over to the wine store, after your float, you're going to receive a free glass of wine with a uh, cheese tray. So awesome. All right, Brooke, you can't have wine right now, but what I am going to do right now, Brooke is actually going to float now. She told Jordan here to get her out at about 11 o'clock, so I'm going to close the lid. Brooke is going night-night here. So if you're intrigued by anything we've seen, we're right here off 74th and Pacific, blueoceansfloats.com. My mind is blown. This is definitely interesting, and I'm definitely going to give this a try. Mike and Kelly, you guys probably should too. Oh, yeah. We're we going to definitely do it. So you're going in right now? No, i got to come back and finish some work, but I might okay. be back this weekend because this, this looks amazing. Oh, what a great way to relax. It, does, it looks relaxing. Especially during the holiday season when we're all stressed. Yeah. So. We'll see you back here, Kayla.